Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at how to accept user input in a command window. So let's first open MATLAB and then create one empty file in editor. Now here, let's say I have one variable named A with value of 1 and then variable B with value of 2 and I want to do addition of these two. So A plus B and I am displaying C. Okay. Now if I run this on command window, it will show the output as 3. But here, as you can see, this entire flow is controlled by me. Okay, what if you want to accept the input from user? Okay, so in such case, you have two options to do that. One is accepting user input through this command window. And another option is to create a GUI to accept user input. So for this video, we are going to specifically discuss only the user input from command window. Okay, so open your editor and here create one variable, name it A. Now here use input function. Inside input function, you can simply create your message as enter value for A. Okay, this will be your first prompt. If you run this, and let's say we use disp a immediately. Okay, so if I run this, then what it will happen is it will accept my value for a, and when I enter, it will show that value immediately. Now I have to accept another value for b so let me use input function again and then i will say enter value for b okay you can again then test value for b as well okay so i'm testing both a and b so let's run this and here you have value for a then value for b and you get your value immediately output on screen okay so let's clear the command window and go back to editor now what i want to do here is i want to simply calculate the sum of these two numbers so c equals to a plus b so the value stored in variable a and b will be added and then displayed at C. Okay, so let's save this and run your editor. And here you have value for A and let's say 5, value for B adds 10. And you get value for C adds 50. So as you can see, input function allows you to accept user input and then you can assign that value to some variables later you can manipulate this value and then using display function display the way you want so for accepting user input in command window you make use of input function